What is up, everyone? My name is Red Pool Gaming. Welcome to a new Let's Play series. I'm going to be playing through Vault Hunters. This is absolutely one of my favorite ways to play Minecraft ever. I've been playing Minecraft for a long time. I'm kind of what you would call a boomer gamer a little bit. Actually a dad. I've got kids. I know. It's a whole thing. But I remember the first time I saw Iskal playing. I remember I watched him playing it and I thought the concept and the whole idea of how Vault Hunters works was just extremely fun looking to me. Let's see. Is this going to give us? No, of course not. We got our crafting table. We're going to need more logs. Let's go over there. Yeah, we got the zoom. I added that. I also added connected textures. So I still remember watching Vault Hunters and thinking that it looked insanely fun. Where did we start out? We were over here. Let's just go back near spawn for now. Keep things simple. Wow. Why are there so many sheep? It's like the sheep apocalypse over here. So when I saw the idea, I knew I had to play it. Well, in the original Vault Hunters, I struggled. I'm not going to lie. So I'm someone who's played tons of vanilla Minecraft. I'm not, however, a modded Minecraft player. Modded is entirely new to me. And there it goes. We got to get some food. At least we got our sleeping bag. That's what it is. We got our sleeping bag before nighttime comes here. Might as well keep things simple. But we have got to go get a furnace. Get us some food in our belly. All right. So yeah, I'm very new to modded. And because of that, when it first came out, the first time I took a look at it, it did not have one of the things that has benefited it greatly since then, which is an amazing quest book. However, since then, they've done a lot of work on making the pack. Obviously, in case of those of you who don't know, the pack is still not fully released. It's in active development. But it's way too fun to not keep playing. But yeah, they're still developing it. And since the first time that I played it, they did actually really flesh out the game a lot. And one of those things was adding the quest book. So that made it way more approachable. What I'm excited about doing with this Let's Play series and with my channel in general is really focusing on helping Vault Hunters be more accessible to people who are vanilla players or maybe even people who aren't super experienced in general. And people for whom it seems kind of really intense to play. I want to be able to make tutorial videos about Vault Hunters in general, and then also do a Let's Play and really focus on trying to kind of show a lot of the stuff behind the scenes. I feel like a lot of the YouTubers I watch, I learn a lot about Vault Hunters and how to play some of the different mods, but especially with the mods, there's a lot where they just kind of cut ahead and kind of assume that you already know about that mod. So I really want to approach this more from the perspective of showing more of the game. Try to keep it entertaining still. Hopefully I can succeed at that. But we're going to see. So if you haven't played Vault Hunters before, as you can tell, I, this might be the case with a lot of mod packs. It's, the core mechanics of Minecraft usually are still there in some form or another with the various mods. And no matter what you're doing in Minecraft, the way you're going to start out is punching a tree. So obviously we got started with that. We're just going to get a basic amount of coal for maybe a couple more furnaces, a couple stone tools. But yeah, Vault Hunters, it starts out very much vanilla for a little bit. But I kind of want to make this series for the people who, even though they know a decent amount, there might be all these kind of gaps that are preventing them from enjoying the game. And I want to kind of approach it not making assumptions about what's supposed to be obvious and what's not supposed to be obvious. 
Anyway, what comes up soon in the game is you got to collect things for your vault altars. That's an item in the game that allows you to get vaults. You can open a portal to these vaults and they're like an alternate dimension, which is, I guess, based around Diablo. I never got to play Diablo as a kid, so I'm really not familiar with that. But for me, it feels like Borderlands where you're trying to level up your character, progress, unlock different builds and items and make builds. But to get into the vault, you need to get items and use them for your vault altar. And I've always loved that aspect since I've played because it gives me a reason to collect a bunch of random vanilla items that I otherwise probably wouldn't bother collecting. So that's one of the things I really love about this. It's got me playing the game much more and playing more vanilla aspects than I otherwise would. Tons of fun. I've had tons of fun with this mod pack. Really excited to be playing it for a YouTube channel. Give me more kind of purpose behind my play and make it more structured. And I just really love this mod pack. I would love if I'm able to help more people play it, kind of help it get more exposure. Not that I have much exposure yet, but you know, give it time. Everyone has to start somewhere. This is where I'm starting. I just want to talk about one of my other focuses for this channel, not just this series and this let's play that I'm starting, but the channel in general. And that is music. I'm a musician. I'm a, I don't know, amateur, I guess. Although I have a lot of history playing as a musician, I'd say I'm a little more than an amateur musician for sure. Um, but I'm an amateur music producer. Really, really love it trying to improve all the time and I want to use my music in the channel. I want to do good old fashioned montages. And my goal and hope is that with every episode, I will have a new completely original track that I've recorded. Sometimes it'll be based off of like classical music. That's one that I'm hoping to do for today. So you'll have to stick around for that a little bit. Um, sometimes it'll be based off of stuff like that, but, um, sometimes it'll just be a totally original stuff that I've come up with for fun. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy that. But as far as goals for this mod pack for me, for vault hunters this time around playing, let's start talking about that for a little bit. First of all, sorry, beginning. Always a little more boring. Luckily, it's been mostly boring this time around. Pretty uneventful. I haven't died. It'll be pretty impressive to die this early. Ooh, copper. We're going to need some of that later for sure. That's a vault altar item. It's also used, I believe, in some crafting. Not sure. But I want to be able to have some coal kind of get me started and a few basic resources and then some iron. And then what I'm going to do is usually I build a big mine shaft going down to the bottom in my vanilla worlds. That's always been my favorite way. Get some ladders down so I can go up and down kind of from the surface to the bottom of the world easily. Maybe with this great big cavern system. I might just kind of try my luck using that. Maybe I can spot some diamonds. I should really get you guys some torches crafted up. And I believe I have a mod that has... Oh, I don't have the dynamic lighting set up. I should get that set up too. So that just as I'm playing and going around, you guys can see better. But let's get some torches going. We'll at least light the area around us. Whoops. Oh no, not a skeleton. Well, a little bit of light combat here. Training us for the vaults. Not bad, not bad. I'm definitely not some crazy pro at Minecraft by any means. I haven't played much PVP. 
as I believe I mentioned, I'm very much a solo gamer, but you know, I played first person shooters plenty and other types of things. And like I said, Borderlands, I feel like Borderlands helps with the combat in the vaults a little bit because it's very much about running and gunning the whole time, jumping around, staying moving. Definitely helps in the vaults. But yeah, ooh, some more iron. We can at least get an iron pickaxe and then hopefully we can find some diamonds. Anyway, staying moving definitely helps in the vaults. Anytime you're getting trapped, backed into a corner, that's probably when you're going to die. So not dying is very much about not doing that. I'd say it's pretty much the best thing to avoid dying in the vaults. All right. Let's get a bit more coal. And then let's start looking at the quest book. Get some guidance behind our random mining here. I think that that would be useful. All right. Back to the surface. Just climbed up a little bit. Let's take a look. So here, this is, I think, like a general... Vault Hunters Encyclopedia or something like that. It's got a ton more information. But for most of you, the main thing you're really going to need is just this normal quest, quest book. So here it introduces you to Vault Hunters a little bit. I definitely am not just going to sit and read through this whole thing. Obviously, you can pause at any point if you want to read more. But let me skim a little bit. So the first thing to know is there are accessibility settings, which are awesome. Um, those allow you to change the difficulties of the mobs in the vault. They allow you to change it. So if you die in the vault, you don't lose everything. We're just going to go ahead and get some vault steak. We're going to save our vault steak for in the vaults because it's better than the meat that we're eating out here. Here's the first part, vault stone right here and chromatic iron. Those are the start of everything. So the next thing we're going to be doing is finding a way to find chromatic iron and to find vault stone, both of which the best thing for it is getting really down deep. I'd have to look up what it is for vault stone, but I know chromatic iron, it's below Y minus 30. And it's probably similar for vault stone. There might be a wider range, but if you're looking for chromatic iron anyway, chances are you're going to find vault stone. This part could take a while depending on how lucky I get, so cue a montage.
All right, we've done it. We got pretty lucky on the vault stone. Now, the vault stone is not quite as tricky or important to keep up on as your chromatic iron. Chromatic iron is the one that you're going to need resources of for a long time to come. But this is one of the things we definitely needed to get started. And then just a little note, this one right here looks a little bit like chromatic iron. It has some of the similar colors and it has four big chunks. But notice it has these other little chunks as well. So if you look, if I hit F3, targeted block over on the right there, deep slate fluorite ore. So yeah, that's fluorite. That's not chromatic iron. So we're going to leave that. We don't need that. We need vault stone. And when you break this, there's a chance that it'll give you a chipped vault rock. So we're really going to hope that we at least get four of those here. Usually the vein is big enough that you'll get plenty. But we shall see. Yep, we got four already. This is what these are called. These are the chipped vault rocks. You use those to make a vault rock with a piece of chromatic iron. And then you put that on the altar. Use your ingredients to turn it into a vault crystal. Which you can use to go into the vaults for the first time. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We're not there, We're not there yet. So I'll finish mining this, and then it'll be back to the search for chromatic iron. diamonds that's another part of the puzzle that we're going to need i'm not going to bother like you might do in a vanilla world coming back with fortune because honestly diamonds are not nearly as limited in vault hunters back to searching Awesome. We found our first chromatic iron. Now, they usually come in really big veins, large ore veins. So hopefully that is not our only one. Let's find out. You're kidding me. <laughs> I have never seen that. Oh, that's terrible luck. Looks like this cave split the ore vein. We got one. We don't even get the achievement for that. You need 16. <laughs> oh, that's just hilarious. Well, looks like our search isn't over yet. Back to it. I 
think I see some down there. You know, some people might say that having the zoom is a bit cheaty for vault hunters or rather for Minecraft in general. But you know what? I love having the zoom. I can't live without it. And case in point, boom, chromatic iron. Let's go get it. Try not to die on the way. <laughs> Zombie surprised me. Bad creeper. Die. Oh man, I need a diamond sword. That four hits is rough. Well, really what I need is vault gear. Vault gear is even better than nether netherite gear, by the way. That's why I'm not really bothering with the typical Minecraft grind of getting to netherite gear first thing. I am still keeping my eye out for diamonds, and our diamonds are settled. Nice. I see three veins over there. Sweet. All right, and that chromatic iron's easy to get to. So, here we go. Typical trick across the lava lake. Let's get the diamonds first because they are much less exciting. It's the chromatic iron that we really get excited about in this mod pack. Of course, later on, there's easier ways of getting more. But especially your first few times finding some. Always exciting. Wow. Rotten diamond luck. <laughs> I can't remember. I think five might be enough to get started with some of the first things you need. I don't know if we see any more. I think that's some over there. Uh, no, that's not. Yeah, not very good diamond luck, but that's okay. We'll have to remember and see if that's enough for what we need. Anyway, chromatic iron. This is what we're really here for. Let's go. Seems luck in general is... <laughs> Whoops. Ouch. Not very much on our side. We got 21 raw chromatic iron. Not terrible. Not great. <laughs> I've had it before when I find a vein and I end up with a couple stacks. It's supposed to be pretty big veins, but we just got unlucky. Part of that's because we're spelunking for our chromatic iron. And so... It's likely that whenever you find an exposed vein of chromatic iron, it's going to be broken up by the cave you're in. But it's worth it because it's far easier to find it that way. So, okay. I think we got what we need when we came down here. For, what we came down here for, rather. So let us head to the surface now and assess. Just a little more iron. Oh. 
Okay. Minecraft do be like that sometimes, though. Well, now is a good time to talk about another feature of this mod pack. Luckily, it has the gravestone mod. So, I don't have to panic that my items are going to despawn. Any of that sort of stuff. I do have to worry about this. Oh, if I was smart, I would have brought more preparations for the return journey to my untimely demise. Maybe I'm not so smart. Oh, boy. Yikes. How did I get down there the first time? Ah, yes. Nope. You know what? We're going for it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I should have lit this place up. Oh, yikes. Oh, we clutched that one. I am not good at that kind of thing. Holy crap. All right, so you can just run up. It transfer items. It should be where you had them, too. So, oh, we were ready to go. Yes. Do we want this? No. You can stay. And my body won't be there forever. It's not that gruesome and morbid, but it'll be there for a little bit. All right. Note to self, there's a million creepers up there. Now I'm going to go get that iron. Always need more iron. All right. We made it back. We got what we were searching for. We are ready to move on to bigger and better things. Barely. We got four chipped vault rocks. 21 raw chromatic iron. It'll do. Oh, we did not get obsidian yet. We're going to need that. And a good amount of iron. Not bad. Okay. First quest, acquire 16 raw chromatic iron. Is this the first one? I think it's the first one. Did I forget? No, there was the introduction. First real quest, complete. And that gives us more, and it's already smelted up. I really love the new quest system. Okay. Next, Vault Stone. Oh, no. We found the other one first. I do want to continue the quest line. So that is quite frustrating. Forgot about that aspect. But that's okay. All right. I will go get some more Vault Stone, and I will see you when I'm back. Die, creeper. Wow. He did not want to die. He wanted to go out on his own terms. Oh, can I do it? This is going to be a useful skill for later. Yes. Let's go. Oh, spiders. I can always use strings, so we'll take them out. Ooh, can we get a CD? Oh, come on. Not today. Oh, got both creepers. I just realized I am low on food. Oh, darn. You know what? I just thought about it. I'm going to change my mind. We're going to go into our first vault. That is going to be quicker. Because the minute we find an ore point of interest, POI, we will unlock that quest. I don't really find it, feel like doing more spelunking right now. Just got to figure out a way back up. Mm. 
Think brain, think. Okay, here's what we'll do. Look up. There we go. All right, and our change of plans. We're gonna put a vault portal down right here. For now, we're just gonna do a simple one. And we're gonna need a vault altar. Stone bricks. Gotta get smelting some cobblestone up. We'll get there, bit by bit. Ah, obsidian. So we're gonna need two obsidian. Just checking my map. I really haven't explored much in this world yet. And it shows. Doesn't look like we're gonna have any luck getting obsidian up on the surface. Well, I guess we are going down. I will need more food. Gotta love the grind at the beginning of Minecraft. Very similar here. Although once we start getting into vaults, it's going to start going warp speed. You will see. And that's enough. Let's go. Is that flowing lava? Nope, we're good. That'll do. Come on, how many creepers? All right, now we can make our altar. Whoops. Now we can. Oh, we don't have the quest yet. We'll have to pick our altar up again later. That's okay, that's okay. And you make a vault rock. And we got some stuff to get. And that's all it takes. Oh, we're going to need a button. That won't work. That will. Come back. All right. It's a little risky skipping the quest like this because it gives you a few benefits going into the first vault. But I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be able to manage. 
Honestly, oh, it gives you a shulker box. You know what? We're going to go in just for the purpose of finishing the next quest. And that is mining 16 vault stone. So we're going to be looking specifically for ore POIs. Probably not going to be the most productive vault run ever, but you know what? Who cares? I don't feel like searching for more vault stone right now. All right. Nothing else for it. Let's go. Might even be able to get ourselves an early objective completion. First vault run. Oh. <laughs> Why isn't it working? Does the game not expect me to go in? Huh. I'm not going to lie. This is new. I have not seen this before. Well, you know what I think is happening? I was trying to run Vault Hunters on a different launcher. It appears like we have run into an issue. I don't think it works on here. Well, I was trying to be a smart boy and get it to run faster. It looks like it doesn't work. I will see you in a minute. We are going to get to the same place we were, but in a launcher that works. Oh, back to Curse Forge. Okay. So, well, silly me. All right, here we are. I really, let me be honest with you, I do not want to start over. So, we're going to do a few alike commands gonna end up worse for us because we collected a lot of random stuff that we won't have anymore but hey I'll survive I will see you when I have given myself the chromatic iron and gets it to get us back to where we were you win some you lose some I'm thinking this area though should be really good for a new starting base area so after getting some cows here, you know, I should leave some alive. There is a feature in Vault Hunters called Animal Pens. Very good for breeding animals. So if we want more for the future, you know, that would actually be smart. All right. That's enough animals. All right. I hate building in the tall grass, so we're going to clear a spot here. Okay. Well, I'm not going to remember everything that I had, but I'm going to do my best to recreate where we were and we will go from there once again. All right. We are roughly back where we were. Just going to make a shovel really quick. Not that I think I'm going to need it, but I went ahead and got it pretty much right back to where we were before my mistake and now we should be able to just pick up where we left off so reminder just like before we did the introductory quest and the chromatic iron quest but annoyingly we found the stone before the chromatic iron so we have this quest next and we are just going to go into a vault to take care of that. Probably easier than searching forever for vault stone again. Because, reminder again, there's vault stone in the vaults. That's where you find ore, vault ores. This is all stuff that you'll see as we keep playing, but we're just going to try again. It's like nothing happened. And here we go. Hopefully this is much more eventful. This is more like what I was expecting. <laughs> so here you go. This is our first vault. It's got a bumbo face there on every single one. I love that detail whenever you're in the vault. So it's a generated. I don't if you guys don't know what the vaults are. Vault hunters. I think I explained some before already. I'm trying to remember what I did and didn't explain. But it generates 
you don't I don't have a map in here. I'm pushing the map button. Don't have it. We've got a mini map, which is very helpful and useful. But the main thing is it generates a large random sort of like dungeon area. And you notice the timer in the bottom left it doesn't start until I go into this hall. But what we're going to do, primarily we're looking for ores. And, oh, we had a bounty table as well. No, we didn't. That was playing with my daughter. Never mind. We don't have a bounty or anything. That comes later. Spoiler alert. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm going to stop yapping. Let's have some fun. And there goes the timer coming down. Now, one of the best things to do in the vaults, I don't have the best block for this because turns out I have a block which is in the theme all over the place. But you know what? That'll do. So I always mark my way back to the portal because if you start going down some of these halls and you don't mark your way back, you're very much bound to get lost. Ooh, a gilded chest. Nice. We're going to go get that. So it makes a big room. You can see on the mini map, there's a big room and it branches off with tunnels to other rooms. So we want to loot and attack and come out with some good stuff. Now they don't start out very hard to begin with, but I do only have an iron sword, which is not as good. And I'm not working with a shulker box like you normally are when you go into your first vault, but that is okay. We will manage just fine. Oh, chest hidden under there. Nice relic booster pack. Which usually doesn't have any relics in it, but hey, when it does, it sure is fun. All right, so we're looking for ores. And it's always, for me, I find it helpful, a double thing, more than just your blocks telling you the way home. I always like to look the... Vault return portal is south, so we'll keep heading north. That'll help us a little more to not get lost. Just another way. But here in our first vault, we're just going to be looking for anything we can find. Because at this point, even the common loot is going to be really useful for us. But like I said again and again and again, ores are the goal. Always like me some vault sweets. And we're having to loot a little slower than normal because we're leaving a lot behind. Normally, we'd have a much better system of looting. I'll show you that when we get back into the vault. Nice. Oh, okay, we did get a guy. That's okay. Nothing my iron sword can't handle. This is an awesome POI. Once again, that just means point of interest. That's what they call the different areas that can be in these different rooms. This is like, I don't know if it's an Omega point of interest. But it is a very good POI. Look at all these. Hey, we got a shulker box. Or a shulker shell, rather. If we find a second shulker shell... We could craft one. All right. Let's keep going. Yes, ores. I don't remember how many I have to mine. But hopefully there's enough here. Oh, black opal. Oh, and we didn't get any. Yeah, the ores can be really rough when you don't have fortune yet. You get lots of fortune levels through some mechanics in Vault Hunters. But when you're brand new like this, it's normally a waste of time. But this is not a waste of time for us because... We only have four chipped vault rocks. With our tiny little vault stone vein we found before, we can take all the vault stone, vault stone, wow. All the vault stone we can get because we are going to need it to be able to get into more vaults. So normally this would be the most inefficient way 
well, it is the most inefficient way to mine ores, even so. But for us, it's very much worth it because we need more of those chipped vault rocks so we can get back in more vaults. Now, at this point, I could keep looting or I could just head back since I got the quest. In fact, I think I'll do that. Keep our experience more similar to the typical. But we'll get all of these. And how many chip vault rocks did we get? Ten. Nice. That'll do. That will do. All right. We're just going to head out. It's a little sacrilegious, blasphemous, whichever way you want to put it. Non-kosher, terrible, sad to leave a vault with 20 minutes left on the timer, but eh, I think it'll be more fun. We could try to get a completion crate. Hmm. Nope, we're just going to go. Well, it's not the way I imagined the first vault going. Well, hello, cow. But things don't always go how you imagine, do they? That certainly has been true for me. All right. Nice. Okay, we are going to make a separate chest just for vault supplies. Okay. All right, let's get back into these quests. That's some decent loot for a first vault that we only spent five minutes in. Not bad. Oh, complete this quest. And that's right. It gives you some more vault rocks. Good. We'll be able to get into plenty of vaults. Normally, vault rocks are not an issue at all. You have plenty to make all the rocks you need and the crystals. Especially once you get some levels of vein miner under your belt. And then when you find those ore POI rooms, that's how you mine them efficiently. But we will get there. We will get there. Craft a vault rock. Well, you guys have already seen this. But that is okay. Like that. In the middle. And there we go. Complete. Gives us another vault rock. Not bad, not bad. I think vault alters the next one. Yep. That was easy. And normally, it actually gives you a button. Now I have to make a decision. Do we use the boring gray stone button that matches? Or do we get some contrast? You know what? I got to decide. Oh, come on. Anticlimactic. There we go. We're going to stick with that. I always use the stone button that it gives. But hey, a little commemoration of... How funny it turned out for me this time around. All right. Vault crystal. You guys have already seen this as well. Seeds, sticks, cobble, coal. Not bad at all. Seed, sticks, cobble, coal. Nice. RNG is being kind to us. You know what? Let's put this back. Nice. Now I'm trying to remember. Does the quest book want us to do a vault yet? I doubt it. I think it gives us some preparations for a vault. We would be fine in a vault like we saw, but I believe it's going to give us a shulker box. Yes. Hooray. I love that. That's going to make our looting experience much better. And it's nice to have it down here ready to go. In fact, we will use vault cobblestone now because we're going to have plenty of that. That's what we'll use to mark our way. Skills and talents. Oh, yeah. This gives us a skill point just for doing it. So what I always do first, well, maybe be smart to do vein miner. I wasn't really struggling fighting. Ooh, tough choice. 
I'm just going to do what I always do. We're getting healed. We're going to be leveling up before long anyway. And a better enchanting table. Now, I think... Nope, this is going to be annoying for us. All right. And the vault one is called the vault enchanter. So it's always nice if a recipe you're trying to do needs something to craft first. So it's nested crafting like that. It's always good to look at the recipe for the highest up most complex one. So we go to vault enchanter, takes an enchanting table and emeralds. Ew. Chromatic iron block. Well, luckily we got that. So let's craft those up. We need 18. Here's a handy thing. You press balance grid. It'll take, if everything's filled, it'll balance it. But you can also just stick it in there. Shift click and it'll spread the grid out. Super handy. All right. And if you make blocks and you want to put them back to normal iron, you always can. But this would be great to get. We're going to need more obsidian, more diamond. And two emeralds. Hmm. We've got some choices. We could try to find a village. Let's check our map. Oh, there's a village. Well, what do you know? Well, let's go get two emeralds. Shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Can't remember what the early game emerald generation experience is like. Oh, and we're lucky this time around. We've got a lava lake. So that'll get us our obsidian we need as well. And if we forget exactly what we need, we can always pull up JEI and see it again. For obsidian, a book. Uh, hopefully we can find a book at the village as well. Villages are really great for early game vault hunters. But you know what? We got a good start. I've been having tons of fun. I'm really excited, super hopeful for this series. I hope you guys... Anyone that's watching, it's always funny talking that way when you are starting out a YouTube channel. As if I say that as if I've started a YouTube channel before. This is my first one, but it's funny. Hope you guys are enjoying this. If anyone's watching, that's the goal. All right. Obsidian takes forever. I'm not going to try to talk through all this. I'll be back. All right. Finally. Four obsidian, two diamonds. I think we only had one diamond. I was remembering pretty sure earlier that I was going to be one diamond short, but hey, we'll try to go for the books. Books and the emeralds. We shall see if we can do it. Another. Interesting. Let's fix this safety hazard. Wouldn't want any of the local villagers falling in. That would be a war crime. All right. Ooh, also, I wonder what crops we can get. Wheat seeds, wheat. Boring, boring. Last Vault Hunter's World I played, there was one crop that I was looking for forever that I needed for a vault altar. Oh, we get some books. Nice. And we will take that too. There's some crafting recipes that use a lectern in Vault Hunter's. Typical village experience in Minecraft. Just showing up, looting all the supplies from the locals, as one does. Now, they're not putting it to full use, don't you know? What are you? Rotten flesh, goodness sakes. Leather. Oh, that's right. There is an awesome feature in the Vault Hunters implementation of villagers. You can hit cycle trades. I don't believe this works after you've locked trades in, but it helps you get an idea so you don't have to constantly go back to the wiki and look for what you're looking for. So these guys are both... No, not both of them. One of them's a leather worker. Well, apparently that's the only option for clerics. We do not have that much rotten flesh. Our luck is not looking good for now. But... Maybe we can try to think like a pro Minecrafter here. I think we can break their 
occupation blocks. I don't think that's what they're called. Workplace blocks, something like that. We can break their station, replace it for something more amenable to us. What are you? Yeah, you're the useless guy. Well, there you go. Never mind. Emeralds. We're in business. Let's see what else we'll find. Can you find diamonds in villages? This is kind of a sad village, really. Vault Hunters has alternate villages as well that you can find sometimes. Yeah, nothing exciting at all. We're stuck with the boring vanilla villages. Boring crops, too. It's all just wheat seeds. Yeah. It's a bit of a bummer. It's always nice to get more vault altar ingredients under my belt. You know, I think I'm going to do the thing. Just call it the vaulter. It's a lot easier than saying vault altar. Wow, this is a pathetic village. I gotta say. Very sorry to you guys. Your village is pathetic. Do, 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 do. All right. Last chance. Ooh. Saddles. Cool. And you know what? We shall take these as well. Those cost a lot of iron. Eventually, we are going to be building an iron farm. All right. We're heading back home. And I just realized I did not mark my home. But I came this way. Don't think we're far. Takes me back to the old Minecraft days when I first started playing when I was a lot younger. First thing I would do in every world is build a giant pillar <laughs> and then put some water down first and drop down into the pond and the little puddle that I made. Back we go. We're going to need wood. So we need more ladders again. That was something we had before. But I'll just mine more wood. I knew that there would be some things I'd have to remine. That's okay. Hmm. Demon pig in a deep, dark cave. Well, it's not that deep, but it's slightly dark. I always remember still thinking, first time I played Vault Hunters, I thought it was so strange that they have black pigs. I was like, what does it mean? Oh, where'd he go? He disappeared. All right. I am actually slightly spooked now. <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay, phew. I was worried the game was haunted, taking me back to Hero Brian days. No demon pigs today. No, thank you. You're a scary dude. Scary, scary dude, demon pig. Leave me alone. Oh! Well, what do you know? We got a ravine in this world, too. Just like home. Now, I wonder if we can spy any diamonds. Is that deep enough? No. Not deep enough yet. Although, I think they can spawn around Y0. But no such luck yet. This is definitely where we're going to go to get our diamonds, though. Not bad at all. Which way is this? East of our house? Yep. We shall be back, big spooky ravine. Ooh, I love that they have pots you can find stuff in. Such a good mod. All right. Offload our junk. Well, turns out that's all I have time for recording today. I wanted to get through to my first real vault, but you know what? My first almost real vault is going to have to do. This has been tons of fun. I am really excited for this series. I hope somebody watches it. <laughs> you never know when you're starting a new channel, but we shall see. And I'm having tons of fun. 
Reminder, I'm not just doing Let's Plays. I'm also going to be doing tutorial videos. I have one complete guide to Vault Hunters that I'm really proud of and excited about that I'm working on. So I will hopefully have that releasing soon here in the next couple of days from when this comes out. I'm going to try to really work on that a lot. But either way, if you want to see more Vault, Hunter, Vault Hunters Let's Plays from the perspective of someone who's new to modding, and just someone who's played a ton of it and really loves it, go ahead and subscribe. But once again, I don't blame you for not subscribing because my ch channel currently has zero subscribers as far as I know. When you're watching this, maybe there's one or two. Hopefully somebody watches this and I'm rambling. This is Red Pool Gaming. I'm out. <laughs>